Okay, we're ready for some burning detail. Now this is the unit that I use. I used to have a detail master and they're really good pens, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, which is why I switched to this one here. This one here, the beauty of it, besides being a good system, is uh, it allows you to use other make, makes of pins. They give you all the attachments and another thing is the tips are removable. Now some people say, oh you don't get good contact with these removable tips. Well, I've been using this thing for about, oh, four years now, and I've never had a problem with that. The heat's always constant. Here's the tip that I use for all my burning material, whether figures or otherwise. <laughs> Zoom in on that there. It's just a chisel point tip. I think the last one I bought was about five bucks or pretty close to that. You can keep these things sharp by uh, just you know, lightly uh, sharpening the edges on each side on your sharpening stone. And that keeps you, gives you a good burning edge. Okay? So, fire this sucker up. And we're not going to get real crazy with this thing. We're just going to lightly burn to separate the parts and maybe add just a couple of details on it. So here we go. So we're going to lightly just burn around the edges here. bring this back down to my lap. It's easier for me to do. Hopefully it'll show up. I'm going to burn a little area up here to indicate that that tab is separated. Same thing on the back. around the top. If you get an instance like that there, it looks kind of sloppy. Well, you can come back and uh, carve that off and burn it on again with your tool. Go so far and then come back and finish that edge there. As you're burning curved lines, Learn to twist your tool when you're going around the curve. It sure makes it easier than trying to hold the tool straight. Like that. And then don't forget the insides too. top done. Now we'll go ahead and we'll burn down each side of the seams here around the part of the boot that, where it's broken right here from the shaft to the lower part of the boot. We'll burn these little lines inside here. We'll burn the heel all the way around and that'll be it. Okay? So let's just keep on burning. all finished. The burn's all done. You can see how it matches up to our other boot. Looks pretty good to me. So the next step 
is to run it through the flap sander to clean it all up and then uh, stain it. Okay, here we are over here at the flap sander. I've explained this before back on that uh, earlier video on doing shifty, so I'm not going to do that again. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're just going to lightly go over this, take off those real sharp edges on our chips, and at the same time this will clean your carving all up for you. Okay? With everything done now, uh, the first thing we want to do before we stain them is we want to drill some holes in the bottom of the boots to hold them to the base. And I use an eighth inch drill, same as the wooden dowel that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to drill a hole in the boot bottom and a hole up here at the top. Careful right there, you don't want to go up. Now don't tap the dust out of those holes. You can blow it off the surface, but don't leave that dust in there because that's going to help us mount this boot. Do the same with the other one. All right, got our holes drilled. Very gently position them where I want them to go. Sometimes I like to set one back a little farther than the other one just to create a little better composition. That looks pretty good right there. Now, the, the, there's still some sawdust in those holes. So, I'm going to tap the top of the boot with my knife and that's going to dislodge some of that dust and put it on this base here. And that's going to show me where to put the corresponding hole. I hope. Let's see if it works. See there? It's not much. Don't breathe when you're doing this because you'll blow that away. And take your pencil and just draw you a circle right there. And there's the other one right there. Just match them up to make sure they, yep, they look good. And then take your drill. And ring these out. Like that. Now we need to cut us a couple of little uh, short pieces of 1 8 inch dowel. We'll put this boot in place and then we'll do that other one. Okay? Okay, we've got our holes here. I've went and I got me some 1 8 inch dowel. Find this down at Lowe's or Home Depot or just about anywhere. And you cut your couple pieces. One piece is long for the back heel. The other piece is short for the front, because remember we don't want to go up through the top of the boot. So anyway, now we take these, we stick them in to our holes, just to test fit it. We're not gluing anything yet. Now here comes the beauty of using the patented uh, Out West Sawdust marking system. Here we have our dowels, now watch this. Fits every time, you cannot go wrong, I guarantee it. Now we'll take our next one and just stick this up in there to create a little bit more dust. Carefully turn it over and very gently set it down to the next one. Position it just where you want it. Hold it in place. Tap it a few times, gently lift it straight up, and bingo, looky there. You got one, two little dust piles. And just like before, don't breathe until you get your pencil and you circle exactly where those two holes are. Just like that. And you can blow that sawdust off. Take the other boot off. Drill your 
corresponding holes. Blow the sawdust off. We'll borrow these pegs here. Try for a test fit. And looky there, that hose has to be drilled just a little bit deeper. But Look at that. Perfect. There we go. We're at the final stage here of putting our stain on our boots. Let's take our boots off. We don't need our pegs. Got our boots here. Get that out of the way. I'm going to use a, a color called Early American. So let's shake up. Well, I already shook it up. Let's open up our stain. I'm going to do this really the easy way by just dipping my boot in there. Like that. Messy job. The thing I like about working with wood is it's so messy. There we go, got that one, set that one aside. Do the same with this one here. Set that one aside. Put my lid on here. Get you an old rag, smore your underwear, and wipe it off. Now that's a little darker than I hoped it would be, but it'll be okay. It's your, uh, the darker stain sure brings out the differences in the surface of the wood. Now the reason this is darker along here is because that's the end grain coming down where this is just your surface of the wood and there, there's the end grain, surface, end grain. It gets kind of a weathered look to it. So there we go. I'll jump the gun here because I want to finish this off and just lightly stick these up on their pegs just to show you what that's going to look like. So after that dries tomorrow I'll come down here and uh, give these a real light coat of polyurethane, satin finish varnish and they'll be finished. And then it's just a matter of coming up with a good name for the front of your boots. If your dad was a cowboy or something, you could call them Daddy's Boots or something like that. I think I had them on the wrong, uh, oriented the wrong way there. And you'll have a nice pair of cowboy boots that you carved on a nice, pretty stand. And that completes this project. Hope you've enjoyed carving along with me. And we'll sign off until I can think of something else to do.